Alright, what is up guys? My name is Jordan. Most of you know me as Supernatural001. Uh, we are continuing our series of guides to be a good GM. Um, if you, this is your first video. Uh, I was the GM of Talisman of Noxus for the past two and a half months. Having that time to be an active admin, so I decided um, to try to help and teach people. Uh, this will be the seventh video of the series. Uh, first two was showing how to get your server online, how to get your website online, um, and then logging in for the first time. The next two videos, we were explaining the Mars folder, or if you were also looking in your server side folder, the uh, Melee GB. And then the, these last two videos where we were explaining the local common table folder. Um, we will, in this video and maybe the next video, <clears throat> we will finish going over all the rest of the folders within the client. And then we will get into editing. Um, I will skip the game server uh, server side folder um, that for later because um, a lot of this is a lot of uh, other things. But this is a, this is the probably one of the most important folders or the server side folder because this is where you do all your scripting. Um, most of your events will be involved in these folders, like if you're doing Last Man Standing or Gem and Lay. Um, really, most of the cool shit that people have is set up there. So we will start off with, we went over config in one of our first videos, at least the files that we use. Um, dungeon is, this looks like PVE. Which some people um, have an thing I did to get my PV. Well, I haven't used PV actually. Um, most people recommend don't doing PV solely because it's easily bugged. Um, I got my PVP online, um, but so we went over these first three uh, things relevant to the chats, different chat channels. Um, these other three, well, this one I think you have by default in a normal client. But this second one here, this is the extra emoticons that are after uh, like number twenty level number twenty nine. I think is the last one. And normally, this goes all the way to what well, this is. There's like an extra hundred here. So yeah. So my server, I had like up to like one thirty. Um, and so to get those emoticons, you need this file, and then the 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 textures, which are like the little emoji things that you see when you use it and those obviously those will go into the ui texture folder um i will put this uh i'll upload that i'll upload that file for people just because i mean it's nothing crazy and the, most of those are the cool ones cool emoticons um i haven't touched help so leave help alone talk so this is an important one. A lot of scripts, they involve talks. And when I say talk, um, I'll show you one of mine. So if anybody played my server, I had the crafting masters. Actually, let me just, let me show you. Real quick. I'm, I'm gonna log in my server real quick and then I'll show you. Well, so I'll just show you an example. So um, if, anybody, if anybody logged in my server and they seen the craft master, uh, not everything when you click on NBC is a talk file, but if you played my server, there was the option polish, polish. And when you click polish, you get some options. You know, you can make certain crystals. Well, this is the file that gives you like the visual link to click. And um, it's pretty easy to understand if you look at it. So this is saying pretty much there. So there's an image here. This is the icon. That, that shows up next to the word polish power crystal and if you click polish power crystal in npc it would take you to another set of options and this file right here specifies that if i were to click this link it's going to pull the information from this file from craft one 
and craft one is right here which is also a talk file and now if I was if I click that link I would come into where it tells where it uh, gives me another link and it, the link would show up as 3x ref power crystal um, I'll explain these more when we start editing but these are just it's hard to explain unless I showed you but um my, I didn't get on my servers now I'm back online I gotta get I gotta turn it back on um but we will go more deeper into talks just know that uh, most NPCs have a talk related file um, at least when it comes to events or pretty much any new NPC or new system will most likely have talk files related to it so like my my, my crafting uh, shop NPC there was six files and that's because um, each little link will be pulling information for another file so craft one two three four five um okay we're, we'll be done with local common yep so what's next is we have the model and model two now these are pretty much the same they have actor material texture this one does have actor and texture 90 percent of your eva files so when i what I mean EVA is that's the type of file it is. It's an EVA file. EVA files are the actual visual. So I'm talking like when you look at a mob, let's say LWS, Poison Dragon General, the way that he looks like a, a centaur, that's that's the EVA file that's made. If you there's a couple um uh, programs that you can use to edit the visuals, um EVAs um, I haven't found a, f a program, but for the texture, like you can change the color of the mob or the color of your mount or pet, those are texture files. Those are, uh, well, those are, those are DDS files, technically. That's the file type. Those you can edit in like Adobe Photoshop, and there's a couple other Adobe programs that you can open these files up and you can edit the color. But so, like, when you're making, how I showed before, that there's a model folder in here. That model folder this column right here is the EVA you must make sure that the name is here is the same name of the actual file you don't have to put that EVA just put the name because the dot EVA will automatically recognize that it's that file and then the icons like if you click a mob and you see an icon um, those are texture those those are in the texture folders the DDS um, but uh, back up so these so icons like actual icons are in UI texture UI textures there are some icons that will be in the model texture but for the most part model texture is textures for different maps different maps and cave caves um, as I said most people don't make these things off their own so if you're gonna copy a cave from somewhere make sure you look in the model model folder because odds are they're going to have a few textures um relevant to that area and most of the time they're labeled uh so here's some of the textures are right so these are the visual colors of the mount so like a a fire phoenix how it looks all fiery if i would edit um one of these files i could make it look green or blue or whatever um material i've never messed with so i'm not sure um you'll notice a lot of pets there with this name format mon001 so these and these are evm files i've never messed with these so i'm not sure what they do um but that's the most part for model model 2 those will be where your eva files go eva goes in actor dds goes in texture um scene is has an actor and texture folder when you're making a uh, a scene or a new map or area if you remember when we went to the scene file that the first two files were uh the dot snow and the that the dot snw and the dot uh the other one those are in the maps file you also the third uh the third file that you would need to make a map or a cave is this is the file within the minimap folder. So scene texture minimap. Every cave and map has their own uh, 
folder for the mini map. So like when you go to your mini map and you walk around and you would, it would mat match up with how the cave is actually set up, you would just copy this folder and place it in your mini map. Scene is referred to the actual scenery, the actual area. Like if you enter PRC, how it looks all like a crazy looking cave, that's the actual scene. One other thing is when you're making a new world, and when I say new world, I mean like how MDB is a new world, uh, Peace Island is part of MDB, but like uh, um, Lunar Cave, any new actual map, not a cave, but an actual map, you have to make sure that you input that in, uh, in here. Oh, no, wrong one. And uh, da, 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 da. And the game server. It's in the game server, and then it's also in here, server game. You have to make sure that you add the name here. So you just make a copy of this, and you change. It'll be if the previous one's load eight, you make load nine, and then you put in the, the name of the map. That'll make sure that it loads the scene. If you don't have it in here, and let's say you have every other file, but you didn't put it in here, when you go to try to enter that scene, it'll say scene ID. Uh, let's say SFB032 is scene 32. It'll say scene ID 32 not found. So if you get that error, it's probably because you didn't either one, you didn't you don't have the scene and the maps uh, folders uh, on your client, or you don't have this configured in the server underscore game. Um, but that's about it. UI, okay, so script. Script here, the only thing you ever edit here is um, certain maps, how I said, have um, this is where the location of the NPC spawn at. And a normal one, you can just copy one and just edit it. But a normal one is pretty blank. Uh, let me see if I can find a mic. All you do, well, you see, look, the only difference in these is the is this part so this first part is what will show up in a normal one um if it doesn't have any npcs in there and all you do is you uh each add up a number for each different npc this first number is the npc id and then this is the the location of it and this number refers to the angle that it's facing so yeah you can now you got to make sure that that if this is where you're going to be setting up the locations that in the actual MPC uh, file, in a uh, MPC assign Lua file that it specifies here. So like here, it's specified to be in the local comment table. Um, you want to make sure that it would show this, and that's where you're going to be putting it in the script. Um. That's about it, I want to say. UI, uh, this is hard to explain. Um, I haven't edited these myself for events and certain things, like gem inlay. I just got the files and I pasted it in here. Um, it's really hard to explain. They look crazy. We'll open one up. It's just so much craziness. Unless you can actually understand it, I just, I'm not even going to explain it. Uh, textures is the, the icons, pretty much. When you think of an icon, just think UI texture. But uh, yeah, for the most part, that's about it. Um, yeah, so we will get into an editing video next.